As Greenland watches its great glaciers melt from climate change, the government decided this year it will no longer license oil and gas exploration. But it believes there is extraction in Greenland that will actually help the climate. Workers here are studying deposits of anorthosite, a light-colored rock deemed climate-friendly as it contains only calcium, silica and alumina. You find it in Canada, you find it in, in, in Scandinavia, Russia, but here it's very unique because it's so pure in, uh, and depleted from the elements that is undesired from the industry. It is a more sustainable source for aluminum and can have a smaller environmental impact on many things we use in daily life. We have very good quality for fiberglass. We'll also use it for fillers, for paint and ceramics. One Canadian company, Hudson Resources, already mines anorthosite deposits in Greenland's White Mountain, saying the mineral reduces the energy needed to make fiberglass by 10 to 15 percent. It's a huge energy saver uh, when it comes to making fiberglass, but also makes cleaner fiberglass as well. So uh, it's a win-win. Then there's aluminum, an energy-intensive product made from bauxite. Canada alone produces close to 3 million tonnes of aluminum annually. Currently loading a 45-tonne haul truck. Hudson Resources says using anorthosite in the production can reduce the environmental effects. You end up with about 4 tonnes of waste for every tonne of aluminum made. And with when you use a anorthosite, you can produce zero waste, and so it is a truly a green, green product. While any mining scars the landscape, Greenland's government is looking for minerals with low climate impact, and so far, anorthosite stands out. Even NASA wants to know more about the benefits of mining anorthosite, because the only larger deposits of the mineral than here in Greenland is on the moon. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.